What's going on, family? Live and direct on the air. Live and direct on the air. Y'all know the brand. Freedom is a must. Freedom is definitely a must. Hoping everybody's well. Everybody's safe. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's keeping it positive. Everybody's living for today. Get a mall is never promised, man. So I remember I had told you an event of a riot that happened in Elmira back in 98. And uh, with the Kings and the Bloods and stuff like that. So I was moved from my block before that riot started because I started working in the Low Library. And I went to G Block. So going into G Block, I was there for a while because, like I said, you know, they move you depending on certain pro programs that you have, is the block you go to. So Low Library was G Block. And uh, Leo had got me moved to the, to the block over there, being that I started the Low Library, so I could, you know, start being in the block that I got to be in. For the program that I got So I was there for, for a while Man but About six months later Of being there And that riot already happened in our block You know they drafted dudes Box Move dudes out All this other stuff New new kings started coming through But it was a different breed of kings Kings that They were claiming a set of this A set of that you know, I don't believe in all that set stuff. I believe in, in the motherland, and the motherland was what it was. It's the original. It's what it is. It's what you go by. Those are the bylaws. Those are the rules. Those are the laws. And that's what I'm going for. All the other thing that you're going to call yourself uh, uh, Bad Bunny, Kings, or, you know, uh, one, 148, uh, Humboldt Park, uh, Kings. Listen, it's Almighty Lane King, Queen Nation. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I used to say what's up and all that too. You know, a few of these kings started coming through. Tarzan and some other dudes that were there. Dice was there. And I'm going to tell you about Dice in a minute. Because I know him from the streets. And, and, and we don't do shit in the streets. But I'm going to show you how, how friendship, even from the streets, turn into other shit. So like six months, G Block working, Law Library. And, uh... I happen to catch a ticket. So, you know, when you catch a ticket that is either more than 50 day, 15 days, I think it was 30 days, you lose your program. So, so when I caught this ticket, I made sure that I talked to the hearing officer, the lieutenant, because it was a tier two, to let him know, listen, I ain't trying to lose my program. You know what I'm saying? And uh, can you give me less of the, you know, a few days before of the time that I could lose my program so I don't lose my program? Sure enough, that's how it was. So I was key block, you know, for the for the 29 days that uh that they gave me. So so pardon me. So yeah, so I was key block for the for the time that they gave me. When I was key block, we all know that people that when you get key block or you go to SHU and you stop talking on that gate. You know, it start that it start an argument all the time. It never fails that when you keep block and you get on that gate or you in SHU, you get on that gate, whatever, it's always arguments that start, man. And after the arguments that start over dumb shit, dudes start saying to suck they shit. F your mother, your mother do this, your mother suck this, you know, you a rat, all type of shit that dudes do when they in the box just to say shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they locked in behind those bars. And, uh, you know, sometimes, like they say, true, they put one one man to a case so you really can't get to another dude. But keep lock, they'll put about eight, nine, ten in the keep lock wreck. You know what I'm saying? All at one time. So I was there, and I hear these dudes, yeah, you know, the kings, and, and they talking about this, that, the set. Bringing dudes home, this, that. And I said, listen, man, I got in the gate because that shit hurt me. Because, you know, I'm an old time and I know the rules. I was there. And uh, I said, yo, bro, you know that all that set thing? Motherland is not having that, man. That all that stuff that y'all trying to bring to the table? That's not that's not how it goes, man. And I kept, you know, talking about that. And it ended up that one dude that thought he was the leader of that set started talking some shit. Another dude came behind him to back him up. Let's see, you know, by eight kings of that set got on the gate to talk shit to me. 
So of course, you know, at the end of the, of the, of, of, of the argument, what's gonna come to be is, listen, we see you tomorrow, keep block wreck. Not a problem, see you tomorrow, keep block wreck. You know what I'm saying? And, and the next day, they call keep block wreck. So I'm going on this keep block wreck, and uh, I see that they, 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 you know, I'm in there, then they brought the other guy, they brought the other guy, they brought the, you know, the king, the king dudes that said we was gonna go there, and they came in there. And uh, another dude came in there that wasn't king, he was a neutral dude. I'm gonna show you his picture now. Whoever know him, please tell this dude to get in contact with me, man. Real dude. His name is Mike Valespi. And he's for the Bronx. I'm gonna put a picture on here on this video so y'all see who he is because if you know him, and have him get in contact with me. So I don't know this brother. He don't know me. He's neutral. He's not part of nothing. He go into the cage. And they see that the kings that are part of that set are beefing with me, arguing, cursing, all this stuff here. You know, they're about to jump me and all this shit here. And and it started, you know, the tension started getting high, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I said something they ain't like, whatever, that, you know, caused them to come at me to jump me. Check this out. Like eight dudes to jump me. You know, between five or eight dudes to jump me. And including in that jump, there was a dude named Dice, old timer, got a messed up eye that he from Bushwick. I ran with him in the streets. We on this shit together on some beef. And other shit, we don't take care of a lot of shit. So he know how I am, I know how he is. But I'm I'm always the same way about I go. I didn't know that this dude was gonna forget where he came from. And I say that because when this situation happened, that them dudes jumped me, he was part of that. He was part of that. And the funny thing is that he know me so good from the streets. And he ain't know none of the mother kings from nowhere. From just that spot that he just met these dudes. So he rode with them and jumped me. This dude, Mike Valesfield, is new true, brother, out of nowhere. Just started throwing punches, kicking, pushing. And that shit just add me up now, because now I know I ain't got to keep ducking and stuff like that. And and, and now it, it add me up to uh, do some shit, you know what I'm saying? Do some shit for real. Like, you know, get up out of there and, and continue to swing, whatever. Now I got somebody holding me down now. And it was this dude, Mike Valesfield. That held me down in there. He had beef with them, the kings, them, you know, the kings of that set. After that, but you know, he told him, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. The police came down there and snatched all of us up. They don't put a, you know, a couple of dudes back in the key block. They moved others to another block and, and stuff like that. But you know, I respect this dude, Mike, and I've been looking for him for years. I'm gonna pull up the picture that I just found. I need to find this dude, man. He gonna remember the situation because. You know, he, he went out there, he was a real dude, man. And didn't know me from nowhere, was willing to take the beef, you know, from wherever he went after that, if he had beef, the word got around it. You know, he had a beef with the, the Kings from that set. But I need to get in contact with his brother, man, Mike Valespi, you know, from the Bronx, man. Real dude, jumped in there, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and assisted me in fighting these other dudes, you know what I'm saying, that... In reality, it wasn't real dudes. Dudes that's claiming all their sets and all this stuff here. Not to the original original plan of what the Latin Kings were really about and, and, and where they came from. And, and you know, and it's crazy that the one dude that knew me from the streets went against me. And on top of going against me, you know what I'm saying? Forgot. That you know, I know who he was. I know what he's about. I know he way way in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And and that was some foul shit. You know what I'm saying? I know I know a dude from the streets or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I maintain tight with him because I know. And uh, you know, it's just crazy, man. How how you know dudes flip out? But you know, dudes that do that, like this dude that I'm talking about, Dice. He only did that because half of them dudes was getting that bag. And you know, once a nigga's getting that bag. A motherfucker give up his buns for them bags, bro. That's how dudes is up in there. You know, dudes that's really in them habits. They go against real dudes and other dudes and against plans and all that there. Only because they follow in that sack, man. I told you the story in Attica about that situation that I had 
that the dude told the other dude I was trying to take his phone when it was it was, it was false accusations, and it was all because he wanted a, a sack of that dope, and he went over there and mentioned whatever he had to mention and made stories up to get that sack. You get what I'm saying? And so, so yeah, so dudes do that. So this dude Dice was one of them dudes that sniffed that sack. He knew one of them dudes was getting a bag, and you know he participated with them, know that not knowing that we from down the same way, and we gonna see each other again. If he's not dead, cause he had AIDS at that time, and he was already old too. You know what I'm saying? He had AIDS then, you know, and I don't wish nobody dead, and you know I don't wish nobody bad that got that sick like that anyway. But he had AIDS, and he was sick. But you know, it's just to show you, man, how. Shit happens, man. Like, you know, it's just crazy, man. But that shit happened in Elmira. You know what I'm saying? Dice, if you around, get up here, make a video, say some shit about what happened up there, man. How you try to overthrow the motherland and all that stuff there and starting your own sets and all that bullshit. Bring that up and say the, say the situation. How it was Frax. And how me and Mike Valesby got busy in there and how he attempted to get busy with me and, and, and assisted me against y'all niggas that's foul niggas. You know what I'm saying? And Mike Valesby... Wherever you at, if you see this on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, man, get in touch with me, man, and and, and also put a comment up in there of the situation, because I know it's a situation that you're not going to ever forget, and and, and and let the peoples know so they know that this is true fact, man, that this ain't, this ain't no bullshit, real talk, real shit, you know, I don't get up in here and talk no nonsense or shit that is about nothing, you know what I'm saying, so it's just to show you, man, you go up in there, man, these dudes turn into some other shits. Friends that you thought were friends from the streets and all that, that, you know, you was tight with before. It's not really your friends. When you go in there, you got to amend for yourself. Take care of yourself. Protect yourself. Do shit by yourself. Don't depend on nobody. And that's how it is when it comes to this prison shit, man. Y'all already know, man. Freedom is a must. Freedom is a must. I'm going to come up with another situation that happened up in uh, Elmira in that block two of another king that was a real king. Wasn't with no set. He was the brother that... uh moved from our block because I got him moved into G block and something happened with him, man, that I felt so bad that it happened. And, you know, I was held that, you know, in my conscience, man, because what happened happened because I got him moved over there and he was going over there on the strength that I got him moved over there and I was there and we was cool and we was from the streets and I helped him out in the streets and he felt that, you know, just like I felt. I seen Dice. I said, oh, shit, a nigga from down the way. This dude Cheeky felt the same way and he went over there to be with me in G Block and something jumped off over there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep y'all in tune, man. Y'all already know freedom is a must. Freedom is a must. Peace.